In this video, I'm going to react to the worst crashes of the NASCAR truck series. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. Yeah, first I wanted to quickly say it kind of sucks that um, the uh, Bristol Dirt Race has been postponed till tomorrow. I was really, really hoping to uh, give it a watch and then like give you my thoughts on it today. but maybe i'll uh i'll definitely be watching the race so maybe i'll just give you my thoughts on a video that i put out tomorrow or wednesday but either way i'm really looking forward to the race i just wanted to ask did any of you guys watch the bahrain grand prix yesterday that was the best start to a grand prix that i've seen in quite a few years such an exciting race i'm not going to spoil it for you the highlights of the race are on youtube now literally just type in uh bahrain grand prix highlights or just formula one highlights honestly it's going to be an exciting season I, I, it's it's really hard for me not to talk about it because i, I don't want to spoil it for you guys but you guys have to check it out formula one is back this is going to be a fun video the only crash that i've ever seen that really sticks to mind is the Jeff Bodine crash of the truck series and that was probably one of the worst crashes I've ever seen the way he lost I think he lost control or maybe he was uh, uh, nudged into by someone and the way the, the his truck the front of it smashed into the fence the whole thing the whole front of the truck ripped off like I honestly I thought the man probably had died it was that bad so ever since people have been like dude you've got to watch some uh, NASCAR truck series you've got to do it I, I put this on my list as well as uh, uh, the best passes just for me to get a feel for it and see you know if I'm gonna like it and I probably will like it because I'm loving watching NASCAR so let's go this is gonna be me reacting to the worst crashes of the NASCAR Cup series let's do it oh man oh my god Oh, there's at least at least eight cars, at least eight trucks involved in that one. Outside of Johnny, no, he just got to hold his back in from the wrong. Oh man, what happened there? So was it the drift? Was it the wind? Whoa! He got smashed from both sides. Man, look at the front, gone. The front of that truck is demolished, dude. Dude, that car looks just smashed up. Oh my god, look at the back of that truck. Tina Gordon, so it's a female driver. So what happens here? So she kind of loses control a bit. Oh, oh, the worst place to stop, man. The worst place. Severe contact on the inside, and it kind of slid down the inside. Good gosh. Oh! Just look at this. Bang! Number one there, honestly. Oh god, what's happened there? Something happened off camera. Okay, so he's 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 alive and well. So what happened here? Okay, so yeah, he's getting pushed from behind. He's facing the other way. Oh! Man, those tires just bang. He flipped the whole truck over. Just as Ray mentioned, he thought he had a soft tire. Because these guys race so close together, a lot of cars, a lot of trucks get involved in these pileups. 
quarterback looked like Mike Skinner. He knew he had a soft tie. There it is. It went down right there. And when he bounced off the wall, look at the damage Bang. to the 20 and to the 15. Thank goodness for softer barriers because he hit that wall hard. He out. did. He hit that wall sure really did. hard. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I think maybe it helps that the uh, the components of the chassis of the outer chassis come off so easily. Maybe it displaces the energy, right? Oh man! When he got sort of blindsided by the other car. I know these guys have roll cages, but the fear when you're spinning around in a car going 100 mile an hour, that fear has got to be. Johnny Sauter not so fortunate. And watch Miguel Pluto. He's watching what's going on. Gonna make a move here to the inside. Goodness me. And he had one coming up from the bottom as well. Just barely gets hit. Man. Good job by Pluto. Not getting involved in the crash that he was a part of. Making a move for the fourth spot. That 21 oh, truck. Sideways. Oh my God. Oh. That was hard impact into that wall. Hard impact. Oh man, he's fully sideways. Ooh. Whoa, mate, the 18 car, the way he regained control, fantastic driving, fantastic save. So there's been quite a few female drivers in NASCAR. How many have there been? Like, uh, someone let me know in the comment section. Ooh, because I remember there was a, a female driver called Donica something. Danica, Donica. I can't remember her surname. Peters maybe. But I'm not sure she did that great. God dang, that was a hard shove, a hard shove. Pretty hard contact against the inside wall. Cracked him with a lot of damage. There's Rick Crawford sliding across the racetrack, making contact with the 81 of David Starr. There's that Clay Greenfield, Clay in, the Greenfield in the 68 caught up in it. As they spin, it is going to be Todd Bodine going across the start finish line, winning in 2006. Big crash behind him. Oh, God, he's stopping in a dangerous place. Oh! Even off four still. They were slowing down. Truck stopped on the front stretch. What took place at the end of this race? You can see Eric Almarola here. He's down on the inside of John Wood. And he just loses the run he was having. But he spins out and watch what happens. Jack Sprague on new tires is charging. He just got hung in the side and right into the Goodness, when they spin out like that, <sighs> your heart's got to be just pumping like a jackhammer. Here comes the 59 of Steve Park. He makes a case right now. Still four remaining, but Bodine trying to make his move to the outside, and we have trouble on the next straightaway. Problems for the 14 oh boy. and the 5. Now they all bottle up behind them. Oh, the man. The Seven, eight cars involved in this. A lot of damage on the back stretch. Oh, and Max has been into the 5 of Mike Skinner as they're slowing down the back stretch. Take another look. This is real time. Oof. Bang! Oh man! Oh! Exactly who to blame that on? I mean, Skinner was trying to pull over a little bit. Johnny was in there a little bit. They got together and it caused a big crash. Look at Tom O'Neill right up against the wall. Tom O'Neill moved up. He faded into the top ten. He's running three wide. 
Oh man, two big impacts. Big. Man, that was. Whew. There's nothing like watching a NASCAR crash compilation to get your heart racing in the morning. Honestly, man, some of those impacts into the wall were really sudden, like just bang. Like even though the guys obviously are going to be in roll cages, they're going to have the uh, the hands, uh, head sort of restrainment so, uh, uh, contraptions. That impact has still got to be, you know, felt by the drivers. Just hitting those walls at like 100 miles an hour, you know, coming airborne, like the rear of the trucks just lifting off the ground, spinning out, going into the inside wall. Honestly, some big, big collisions. NASCAR drivers have some big, big balls. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and keep throwing the recommendations my way. I know I say it all the time, but they genuinely help me out because if I know you enjoyed watching something, I'll definitely enjoy reacting to it. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep throwing the recommendations, and I'll catch you in the next one.